Hello again there, YouTube fans. This is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back with an all new episode. But this is not a normal episode. This is a double episode. So what that means is the real creepy doll man is going to work twice as hard for all you YouTube fans, all you die hard real creepy doll man fans from around the world. It is May the 28th. A 2018 time is now 2.02 a.m. I'm back, but this is actually an unreleased bonus episode. This is actually the second one I wanted to release for this Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day to all those out there. Okay, we decided to do, both me and the Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. decided to do this one uh, communicate with the spirits, but also did this one off record for one reason and one reason only. We had talked to a spirit. His name is Bobby, which is, uh, you may already know him as Bobby the Haunted Doll. And he claims to be a guardian angel. Now he has communicate with the box here. This is actually called the Death Box. Why is it called the Death Box? It is now claimed 20 lives. 20 spirits are connected to this box. How did these 20 spirits die? Well, we don't know. But you can see that the box is actually gold plated. It is surrounded by a beautiful siding, how decorated in gold plated lilies all the way around the whole construction of the box. On top, it has sort of a rose pattern on top. Very nice and detailed. This is a music box. And I'll prove that it works here in a few minutes. Now, it had claimed to be that the 20 spirits that communicate with our spirit that we always talk to. Bobby, he claims to be a guardian angel. And this guardian angel said that he had communicate with the spirits within this box. We don't know if they're all male in this box. There might be some females in here too attached to this but we don't know for sure so all the all males or are half of them females we don't know we'll have to maybe do communicate with our spirit friends to know about that or should it be left unknown because you know it's something you don't want to mess with and it's very disturbing what the spirit said to uh, Bobby uh, Bobby claims that it has took 20 lives Meaning, the spirits told Bobby it took their life. So, this ordeal takes a life by choice. It randomly picks a person it decides to take. And I'll show you how pretty the detail is on this, on the death box. This is actually sort of a European music jewelry box that my cousin got for me. At a thrift store, or it's another thrift store, he got it for me at a antique mall. And it does play music, and I'll wind it and let you hear it. Uh, well, I don't know if it works or not. As you can hear it play. Now, should the real creepy doll man actually play that little tune? Was it wise to play the tune to the death box? Well, I was trying to prove that this death box is actually, it plays a tune. 
Now, it does have a, a lock mechanism where you can put like a padlock on the side of this. And it's over here to the side. You can put a regular size padlock, a very thin one, on the side of it if you find the right padlock. It was made to keep lock. I think it was made to put your jewelry in. But, you know, it's disturbing that the real creepy doll man has this disturbing piece. How many people would like to have the death box in their collection? Well, this should be actually a curse object or curse item. Is what the creepy doll man will call this. Because it's not a normal item. And if it's already claimed 20 lives, how many more lives will it take? We do not know. So that concludes the unreleased bonus episode from the Creepy Doll Man. But if we decide to do communicating with our spirit friends on this piece, the Creepy Doll Man doesn't know for sure if he wants to do that episode or not. Because this one is off record for reason, and one reason only, is the death box is maybe something not to play with. And how many hands would get their hands on this piece? I mean, truly, it's a beautiful sight. Now, let me show you up close around the sides of it. You can't see it too well, but there are lilies around the side of the box. And on the top of the box. It's a very beautiful piece. And I had it clean early uh, for this occasion. It's a very pretty, pretty piece. I had this... Not too long ago, a few months ago, I asked my cousin. I saw this over in an antique mall. I did not have the money for it. And it didn't cost more than 10 bucks. Uh, it was sort of an antique treasure. This is sort of a European look antique music uh, jewelry box. And I kind of liked it. I fell in love with it. I had to have it. So I asked my cousin to get it for me. And um, he got it for me as a gift. And it, it's wild. It has this mother of pearl look on top, which is which is very cool. The top of it, and you know, it's very nice. It's got that you know that European look to it. And it, we don't know where the death box really comes from. We don't know if it's been made by maybe human hands, or is it created by somebody not human. That will be left a mystery unknown. Should we do communicate with our spirit friends on this? If the fans out there voted on it now, should I actually do it? But it will be, if I did do it, it will be a four-part mini-series, which will be a very long, agonizing mini-series. It will be a quadruple episode if I did decide to release it or not. I may not release it. Uh, I'll have to make a decision. Should I release it or don't release it? That, that will come in time. This is the real creepy doll man saying to all my fans out there, goodbye, and God bless you all.